Love to Me is going to be the new single released on 16th of Jan. Sparkle in the Rain is the long-awaited album, release date 6th of Feb. They're going to be touring Ireland and Scotland in February and England in March. Just before I introduce the band, next week we've got the Boomtown Rats and Carol Kenyon. But now, playing live with their new single, Speed Your Love, this is Simple Minds.
Glasgow band Simple Minds making a video in London for their latest number, Up on the Catwalk. Their new album has sold over 150,000 copies, taking them to the top of the album charts. They tour worldwide and sell out concerts from Aberdeen to Adelaide. All but new drummer Mel Gaynor are from Glasgow. Like Common 5-8, they came out of school and immediately started playing in bars and halls. But making it to the top only came after humble beginnings. Well, some of the first places we played was um, venues such as the Mars Bar and Sitting Up Square. And um, in fact, the very first venue we played was at Dune, Dune Castle in, in Shorelands. And I remember one night, <coughs> the manager coming up, it was, it was before the, the gig had started, I think we'd played the night, night before also, and he said to me, you know, you're just too loud, you just have to turn down. And I said, why is that? Because no one seemed to be, be complaining. And he said, no, but I can tell. And I said, well, how can you tell when it goes over the edge? And he says, because once you get to a certain level, upstairs in the restaurants, the peas start to bounce off the plate. <laughs> and occasionally we would get some uh, support gigs, like in Aberdeen and Dundee and stuff, where other groups like Ultravox and Magazine and stuff like that. We never really trekked around all the pubs everywhere every night or anything like that. It was all kind of concentrated one Sunday night. Kinda was it a slogan like. those days, mate? Well, it was... They did much money or anything like that, you know. It was all but they putting in their brain money and stuff like that. I think I was the only one in the band working then. <laughs> and I was to pay off most of my day and my equipment and stuff like that, you know. But it was a pretty hard slog, but it was good. We'd done a lot of travelling up to like, Aberdeen and Dundee and Kirkcaldy and places like that. Mm. It was some wild places. And what, what sort of times were those? I mean, were you travelling about... Rough. You know, with you a You had to take your duffel coat, you can see <laughs> a sleeping bag on it. <laughs> you take Bruce, our manager, along because he talks a lot and the heater wasn't working, so the heat feels <laughs> to keep you warm and stuff like that. Well, I came through to see them in Glasgow playing at the Mars Bar, and I was absolutely not sideways. I thought they were great live. They were very different from the usual punk bands that were around at the time. What happened after that, Bruce? Did you take them on to better things? Well, I, I became a sort of pal of theirs. So I was uh, fairly free um, to move around, so I just actually moved to Glasgow for the next three months and drove them around in my car to all the little gigs they did. You really didn't have to have a crystal ball, I don't think, to see that there was something very special there. And uh, I saw Jim Kerr and he just had a great face. That was the first thing that struck me. And I just thought, who is this guy with the pudding ball haircut? You know, he, he really does have something. And um, I don't know, I felt a bit like David Jacobs or something discovering the Beatles. I felt as if I was in at the birth of something, you know. I, I was in at the, the actual delivery and, you know, it, it's proved to be true over the years. It's always been like a sort of like gradual transition. And like, was, was a, you know, we never get too much too soon. Man. And I think that kind of helped us to, to mature, you know, so that when we did reach a certain level, we didn't really, you know, run Affect your head. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think like the most enjoyable thing is that I think like the actual journey towards some sort of goal is the enjoyable part of it as opposed to actually actually reaching it, you know. So so in effect all those years that we've we've been playing were they were great times, really, even though there were such struggles. It's still like, really enjoyable. I think the time we when we were going in seventy eight it was it was a good a good a good time for us because there wasn't a lot a lot happening. The punk thing had had came with a giant outburst.